right guys I am back from my trip I did vlog it but there was a lot of moments I also forgot to vlog I mean I'm new to that and it's a little like you know nerve-wracking with people around you especially because I had a friend on my trip and I didn't want to make her uncomfortable either and I also wanted to enjoy the moment but I definitely did vlog some of it I'm debating on doing like a few separate videos or one big video uh if you guys have a preference comment down below I think but then I'm like, maybe I'm going to post a vlog before this. Because this is kind of like me coming home and showing you my souvenirs. So I got souvenirs from two different places. We went to Mystic Aquarium. That's definitely like the most footage I got. And I got some souvenirs there. And then I got some souvenirs at Mohegan Sun. So I want to say I spent like 50 something bucks at um, New England Aquarium. Minus my ticket, which was like 40. So that was a very expensive ticket two hour thing that was like 90 bucks right there and then like 30 something at foxwoods but i could not help myself so at mohegan i mean at mystic i grabbed this super cute jellyfish stuffed animal thing and they had it in white and they had it in pink but i think i'm gonna hang this from my bed post in my bedroom because it does have the ability to be hung that's kind of what makes it look cute and you know what it is because if this is just like flat you kind of can't really tell so I was like, let me get the white. It'll go with my bedroom versus like the pink. And I know I'm a grown woman, but I just got a super cute kick out of it. There was even a girl on the side and I was like, oh my God, look at the jellyfish. It's so cute. They had tons. They had turtles and sharks and they had big ones, small ones, all different prices. I didn't find this one too bad. It was $15. So I grabbed this for myself. And I also grabbed for some other people. You'll see that as well. I already gave my mom her souvenir today. I went to her house to drop off her Krispy Kreme. I grabbed myself some Krispy Kreme. So I don't have that to show you. But it was just a magnet from Mohegan Sun anyway. And then, I don't know. I was just feeling the jellyfish. Went to this little section. And I noticed this really pretty glass one. Let me show you guys the feet. Because if I'm holding it, it kind of just... Well, there you go. If I keep my hand completely flat, you can definitely tell what it is. If it's just like this, you guys just think it's a bowl. But... All they had was pink. It's like a, kind of like a pinkish purple. If that had been a different color, I probably, or like clear, I probably would have got it. But I think it's going to look so cute either sitting on my desk as a paperweight or on my nightstand. I am leaning more towards my nightstand only because of one thing. I think Joe locked my cat out. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Sorry if you guys can hear her crying. He did not lock her out. She was just crying at the window. But anyway, so the reason I'm leaning more towards my nightstand is because if you look at the sticker, it glows in the dark. So it's been in this box because I want to keep it protected. The box they put it in with this little bubble wrap. So I'm going to leave this out tonight. I'm curious to see how much it really glows. If I remember, I will take a photo either insert it in this video or I so a lot of times I end up just putting posting stuff on my Instagram you guys can always follow me down there it's always linked down below sometimes I will show you guys like things I mentioned in my videos I will like go into more stuff on my Instagram about it like I'll either go into deeper review about it because when I show you guys items I literally just bought it so I don't really know how it works yet or things like this so you guys can see how much it glows my cat is being so loud she <laughs> She is obsessed with, with Joe. She loves Joe. All right. And then I grabbed this at Fox, uh, Mohegan. Because we did Fox with in Mohegan. I don't know why. You would think this would be at Mystic Aquarium because it's a turtle. So I don't know. Well, they have like a kind of like... Mohegan is so different from Foxwoods. Uh, it is way like fancier and pretty. That is for damn sure. But I felt like there was actually more to do with Foxwoods. We ended up spending majority of the time at Foxwoods. Uh, they have more sit-down restaurants. Mohegan is more cafeteria-style food and stuff like that. Um, and they have, like, Foxwoods has the outlets, which they're really known for. But Mohegan, they have, it's, like, f four different parking garages. And they're, like, labeled, like, autumn, winter, fall. I already said fall. Autumn winter spring and summer and then they designate certain areas by an animal so like one is like a turtle one is a coyote one is a snake um it's more like indian uh native american i'm sorry native american themed so maybe that's why they had this beautiful turtle but i was like watch it's gonna be 20 bucks i'm not gonna get it when i saw the tag i was shocked it was only nine dollars so i grabbed it honestly if we had gone to mohegan first probably when i picked up the jellyfish but I was like, wow, for nine bucks, and I actually prefer this one. He's just so cute. So I grabbed him. And then what else I got from Mohegan is a magnet. So you guys will show to see that. Okay. 
right here. It's just a very cute poker chip. I find that like decently priced, only four bucks. Sometimes magnets can get really freaking expensive. They also had the poker chips on keychains, which was really cute. I found the souvenir shop to be well priced. And then I kind of bounced around because I was supposed to show you guys all a Mystic first. I apologize. Um, but then from Mystic, I grabbed, that's what I mean, like I automatically think when I see turtle, I think like Mystic Aquarium. But I bought this for my future mother-in-law. She loves turtles. I thought this would look so cute on her fridge. And then it has the bottle cap opener. This was $10. And then... I don't know why I've been leaning towards turtles too. I grabbed this. Honestly, I would give it to her, but I'm not sure how she feels about jewelry. Jewelry is a hard gift to give women because, you know, some women only wear like real jewelry. Some women don't mind wearing custom jewelry or some women only wear like plain jewelry. Some people like more fancy jewelry, but I saw this. I did think of her at first, but then because of that, I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to get it for myself. I found it to be so stinking cute. It was only $12.99, so it wasn't too bad. I'm curious. I like that it's like this because I can kind of tell the length. There was other ones where it was like bundled up like the chain, if you know what I'm trying to say. So all you saw was like the pendant and that's it. So I couldn't tell the length. So I like my necklaces to be a little on the shorter side. I used to be really into longer necklaces and that's not really my thing anymore. So this looked like it was going to be kind of where I like it to sit. So let's try it out. I have a very hard time putting on my necklaces because I bite my nails, but look at that. I got it on the first shot. So yeah, I, it's like kind of perfect where I want it to land. It's super cute. So I grabbed this. The only other thing, the only thing I really got from Foxwoods, it wasn't even really souvenirs. It was just these bags of popcorn from my boyfriend. I wanted to surprise him with a little something. And he specifically loves anything that's like pickle flavored. We did a whole Mexican candy mukbang, if you guys want to check that out. And there was pickle lollipops, and he loved them. So there was a big sign that said new flavor, limited edition, whatever, dill pickle. So you can get like the souvenir buckets, and you can keep the buckets. I am trying to have less things. So I said, you know, we don't need a popcorn bucket. And honestly, it was cheaper like this. So I said, I'm just going to get him a little bag. So I got him the dill. That's, the dill pickles what made me go in. This bag was like $4.25. And then I saw a sign that said apple crisp as I got in to get the dill pickle. And he loves anything apple flavored as well. So I grabbed him the apple crisp. And then if you guys saw my Dollar Tree haul, I had grabbed a few things for him at Dollar Tree because I wanted to check out the Dollar Tree in their area because I always hear every Dollar Tree is different. So if you saw the Dollar Tree haul, this is going to be repeat. I'm not going to go too into it because you guys already saw it. But what I ended up doing was just getting a, a, like a nice little gift bag. And I kind of all threw in a gift bag for him. And I said, oh, here you go. I got you this stuff from Mohegan and Fox. Well, just my trip, I should say. I got this stuff from Connecticut for you. So I grabbed him two style creams for his hair. He has longer hair on top, shorter hair on the sides. He actually just got a haircut. And these are the Power Stick brand by Dollar Tree. Um... Are these actually Dollar Tree? I don't know, but I always see Power Stick at Dollar Tree. No, this does not have a Dollar Tree logo, but Power Stick definitely shows up at Dollar Tree a lot. I've seen the shave gel and the beard wash, which is really good. It's the first time I've seen hair products. So I grabbed these for him. They're dye-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free, vegan, and no animal testing, all those good things. So one is a gel and one is a style cream. And then he does have um, curly hair. So his hair does tangle a lot and he's been complaining about that. So I grabbed him a Shea Solutions leave-in conditioner. And so that's the only thing with Dollar Tree products. I'm like, oh my god, is it like, you know, really good for your hair? But it does say it's paraben free, which is like one of the biggest things you should not have in your hair care. So I grabbed him that, and then I grabbed him. It's hard to find like men's things too at Dollar Tree. You can find plenty of like stuff for women, like spa items, face masks, candles. But for guys, it's hard to find stuff. So when I saw all these things, I said I'm gonna get it for him. What are you doing? Okay. So I grabbed him this men's care shave cream. She has not stopped crying since you left. I literally thought you locked her out. No. Anyway, so I was like, did he stand up in the hallway? She was going nuts. No. Um, so and it's this right here. And it says it's compared to the Neutrogena Save Cream. So for only a buck, I hope he likes it. I'm going to see if, uh, if he does. I'm definitely going to see if I can find this in my stores. Because I believe, is this one a Dollar Tree brand? Because if it is, I should find it in my stores. It's not, actually. So see, you guys can find, like, non-name brand stuff. I mean, non-name brand, non-Dollar Tree product stuff all the time. You guys know if you watch my channel. So it just leaves, it says it moisturizes with natural ingredients for smoothest shave ever. 
and then i grabbed him another package of dude wipes if you guys think i showed it on this channel or maybe i didn't end up posting it i made him like a little valentine's day basket and it says these compared to the dude's face wipes and um he does long hours he, <laughs> he carries heavy pieces of like house items i always want to say furniture but it's not furniture he does like doors and trim and with staircases and all that kind of stuff so he's been really liking these this summer <laughs> uh to wipe off his face his sweat just to freshen himself up Mwah. so i haven't seen him she's purring i haven't seen them in my store in forever so when i saw him in the store in connecticut i grabbed it for him so here don't forget to put this and then oh did you see this i got him this because these are specifically designed for shoes like fancy shoes he doesn't wear fancy shoes often but like if we have a wedding like we had his mom's wedding back in november they specifically called the oxford so these are meant to wear with this design type of shoe that way you don't see the sock coming out of the shoe it literally has a it's name brand it's called gold gold toe literally says seven dollars and i paid a dollar for it a dollar tree so this was like the most men type of items i've ever seen at dollar tree so that i said i'm gonna grab him this grab him a souvenir and do a little gift for him so you saw he got all the dollar tree stuff he got the cute poker chip magnet and the two bags of popcorn i will let you guys know if he likes it like i said i'll probably end up putting on my instagram so definitely consider following that but that's all the souvenirs i got so from mystic in case i confuse you guys it was a really cute jellyfish um hanging stuffed animal it was the glow in the dark jellyfish little just like crystal here and my um necklace and then for mohegan was literally oh and plus sorry and plus hit the bottle opener for his mom and then from mohegan was just the turtle the magnet for him and the magnet i gave my mom and then it hit 30 because of something i forgot what else i got it wasn't souvenirs oh yeah i bought a thing of rollades while i was there because it's like just one of those one-stop shops if you need to get something plus a souvenir but anyway, that was all the souvenirs from my trip. So if you guys like this video, definitely give a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below. Which one do you think is cuter? I'm curious. <laughs> the jellyfish or the turtle. And that's it. Keep an eye out for the cool men's items at Dollar Tree. It's really nice. Um, I love doing gift baskets, but it's harder to make gift baskets for Joe. Honestly, like 99% of the time, it's just filled with candy. If you guys saw, I did like let's, un let's undo our stockings together for Christmas. His Valentine's Day basket was mostly chocolate too. So it was nice that I was able to find other items from outside of food. So I was really excited about that. You guys know I love Dollar Tree. If you love Dollar Tree, definitely consider subscribing. I have a whole Dollar Tree playlist. I am mostly an unboxing and haul channel. I have tons of stuff I'm going to be filming right now but i am going to be branching out i moved if you didn't notice the background so i'm going to be posting some unpack with me's and decorate with me's i want to start decorating for the fall and then i do have two new rooms i have an office slash craft room so i think i'm going to start doing some journaling videos um planning videos crafting videos and i have a new beauty room um so i'm thinking about doing some try on hauls so if any of that interests you definitely consider subscribing comment down below tell me what you'd like to see maybe some cook with me since i have a big kitchen but that is it guys be safe